But like no one just gives cabbage its time to shine on its own. That's what you're here for. Yeah. What's up guys? It's Kat and Deb from Two Market Girls. Welcome back to another vegan recipe and not just one recipe. You're getting two recipes because it's another challenge. It's a challenge. <laughs> Devin's Yay. favorite type of videos to make and edit. <laughs> Love them so much. So last year we did a grill challenge and it was very cold outside. This year, we did it again, and it snowed. Yep. It's so fun. That's why I'm in a sweater and Devin's in flannel. <laughs> this is actually the same thing I think I wore in the last one. Really? Actually, I think we were like all wearing flannel in the last one because Eddie and Lisa were there too. Yeah. We don't have them to taste test today, but I, I want to believe that this recipe will be my redemption because I didn't really like mine last time, so... <laughs> Right, your Hasselback potato. Yeah, yeah. I liked yours last time, so. Thank you. All right, Devin, what did you make? What is your redemption recipe? I made grilled pepper poppers. Which look oh, and sound yeah. so good. Thank you. I, I think they're pretty good. So, <laughs> what did you make? Um, I channeled my inner the first mess. <laughs> and made a grilled cabbage with a turmeric dill dressing or drizzle. So good. I'm really trying to keep like recipes as simple as possible. You know what? I think we all appreciate that <laughs> actually. But I like how we both just like stuck to grilling the veggies and making the veggies as good as they could be. Right? Exactly. Cause that's like the point of like, so that was like our whole talk like at the beginning of the year when we didn't know we were gonna be separated for so long was that we really wanted to make veggies the focus this year um, and I think both of our recipes today really do that yeah I just put a lot of cheese on mine <laughs> okay before we get into these recipes be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future vegan recipes every Sunday and whatever Wednesdays every other Wednesday and as with all of our challenge videos there'll be a card in the top corner where you can go vote for which recipe you like most or which one you're gonna make first you vote in the card and then tell us in the comments, but first you probably want to see what they look like. So uh, let's go do that. Yeah. So I can eat. What are you doing? Oh, it's so aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> to make your grilled cabbage wedges, you're going to start just by preheating your grill on high heat. And while that preheats, you can get everything ready. I'm cutting a small head of green cabbage into eight equal wedges. You can do more or less if you want to. Um, it's going to be hard to get less than eight wedges because you want to make sure that the stem is still intact because that's what's going to make this super easy to grill. If you don't have that stem intact, the leaves are just going to fall everywhere. So once you cut your cabbage into your wedges, you're going to drizzle with some olive oil, sprinkle with some salt and pepper, and then just rub that in onto both sides to make sure it's evenly coated. Then we're going to grill our cabbage on all sides, including the curved side, like the outside of the cabbage you want until it just gets nice and charred around. Uh, this can be to your liking, but the longer you cook it, the more tender your cabbage is gonna be. I grilled mine for, I wanna say about five to six minutes per side or until I got some nice, very defined grill lines. Then to make your turmeric dill dressing, you're gonna combine basically just all the ingredients into a food processor. So to a food processor, you wanna add a little bit of tahini, olive oil, lemon juice, maple syrup, turmeric powder, dried dill or fresh dill, depending on what you have. I'm doing a combination of both. Black pepper and a little bit of salt, and then you're gonna blend that until it's smooth. Depending on your tahini, you're gonna have to add a little bit of water just to thin it out and make it true like drizzle. Uh, I had to add about a half cup of water because I was at the very bottom of my tahini container, so it was that kind of like paste type stuff. So if you're not there, you're gonna have to add less water. So I would just add a tablespoon or so water at a time depending on how thick or thin you want it. Once that's done you're just going to drizzle your grilled cabbage with that sauce and you're ready to serve. To make my grilled pepper poppers you're going to start by making the toppings. So first we'll do the herb cream cheese. In a bowl you're going to combine vegan cream cheese, garlic powder, onion powder, 
and Italian seasoning. Now I would recommend that in that Italian seasoning you add some of it as fresh herbs. So I added a little bit of fresh thyme and fresh rosemary to the dried Italian seasoning mix that I had. And then you just wanna mix that all together until it's all combined and set it aside. Then to make the cheesy sauce slash cheese whiz type thing to a saucepan over medium heat, you're gonna add vegan cream cheese and soy milk and keep stirring that together until the cream cheese is all melted down and combined. Then you're gonna add in vegan cheddar cheese shreds and just keep stirring that around until they're all melted down and you've got a smooth, cheesy sauce. And finally, you're gonna add in some liquid smoke, stir it around a little bit more, and you're done. And lastly, we're gonna toast up some panko. So to a pan over medium heat, you're gonna add some vegan butter and once that melts down, add in some panko and just keep stirring it and coating it in the butter and keep doing that until it turns golden brown. And finally, you're gonna take your mini peppers or, and your jalapenos, whichever you're using, and you're gonna cut them in half and take all of the seeds out. Then once all your peppers are cut in half and de-seeded, you're gonna add them to a bowl and toss them in a little bit of oil. Then to your grill, set it about 275. You're gonna grill them on the cut side down first for about two minutes until they've got that charred look to them. And then you're gonna flip them over and grill them for another two minutes. Once they're done, remove them from the grill and set them on a pan. You want them to cool a little bit before you add the cream cheese just so that the cheeses don't just melt into it. So once your peppers have cooled, you can top them with the herbed cream cheese and the cheesy cheddar sauce and sprinkle them with the crispy panko. You can do a little bit of both. You can do one of the cheese sauces. You can mix it up however you like. Time to try? Yeah. I really, it sucks that we can't try each other. I know. But you know. So for mine, I did like different variations. So some of them have just like the cream cheese and the panko and some of them have the cheddar cheese and the cream cheese and the panko and some of them have just the cheddar cheese, you know? Wow, you really went for the options. It's a fun time. I also, I was gonna do all jalapenos, but I live with people who don't really like jalapenos. So I thought I'll get something for everybody. <laughs> and these are pretty. Yeah, they're super cute. Okay, ready? Yeah. Mm. Mm. This one has all three things on it. Delicious. Mm-hmm. Cabbage on the barbecue is actually delicious. I feel like that's kind of underrated. Mm -hmm. I would not have thought of that. Cabbage on the barbecue, and if you don't have a barbecue, just use the oven. Equally as delicious. I feel like it's like in slaw all the time. Like people know coleslaw. They like coleslaw. But like no one just gives cabbage its time to shine on its own. That's what you're here for. Yeah. I love cabbage. You do important work. <laughs> Devin, yours are delicious? Mm-hmm. Good, like, party appetizer? I think so, yeah. Like, if you're having people over... A summer barbecue? A little summer barbecue. A little appetizers out on the deck. I love it. Okay, okay. what should we talk about in the comments? Grilling again? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know, what's your favorite vegetable to grill? I think corn is a very obvious one for a lot of people. So like other than like that one, what's your like favorite veggie to grill that people might not have thought of? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, like is there a good way to cook them or something to add to them afterwards that really makes them reach their full potential? You know? Okay. Talk about grilling veggies. Grill those veggies in the comments. <laughs> One of the things that, I don't know if I've actually done it in a recipe before or not, but grilling kale is one of my favorite things to do with kale. It's so good. I have never even considered that. <laughs> also like grilling, like, I like grilling greens, so grilling like bok choy and stuff is also delicious. In the comments, again, tell us about your grilled veggies and tell us which recipe you like better, which one you're gonna make first. And be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future vegan recipes every Sunday and whatever Wednesdays, every other Wednesday. The recipes are both in the description. There's also a link to our podcast. It's called Camera Eats First. It comes out every Monday, everywhere that you get podcasts. We talk about things like veganism, how we make our recipes, how we run our blog. And right now it's kind of just like the pandemic diaries over there. We're talking about life. <laughs> 
So go give it a listen. There's also a link to our Patreon community. Our patrons are some lovely people who help support the work that we do. And in exchange, we give them some bonus content, like they get the recipes ahead of time. We're always looking for their advice on which recipes they prefer to see first. And they get mukbangs once a month if they are a TMG mukbanger. Yeah. If you're able to support us, we really, really appreciate that. But if not, give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and share it with somebody who might want to grill some vegetables. <laughs> And um, that's that's it. That's it. That's it. Miss you. I miss you too, so much. I I really hope that when this video comes out, there's no more snow. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, I thought I was gonna blow away out there. <laughs> it was so cold. I like I timed it pretty well. I think I got out there when it wasn't like too sunny, but the sun was out. And then as soon as I came in, it started blizzarding again. <laughs> <sighs> Emotional roller coaster. I don't like it. Oh my god. I just see this like glaring knife <laughs> in my screen. It's just like glistening in the light. Yeah, it's very uh, aggressive. <laughs>